Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. This is PongoDB full tutorial series for beginners. Today's episode, we will focus on aggregation. If you have worked with any application which involves kind of calculations, arithmetic or relation operations, and maybe working with a lot of data in terms of ruling, calculation, minimum, maximum, limiting, sorting, all those fall under aggregation. We'll learn all about it in today's episode. Welcome back, friends. This is part 16 of MongoDB full tutorial playlist. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. And there are around 21 tutorials planned. We have covered a lot of tutorials so far in this particular series. And today we are covering aggregation in MongoDB. Make sure you go through the previous videos. The link is in the description box below so that you learn and master MongoDB. All right, so what is aggregation in MongoDB? So aggregation means it's very similar to like a find command, right? We have been working with find method or find command so far. Now it, it is a new find. Think of it like aggregate is the new find where we provide a criteria of a query and it will get us back the JSON documents, right? Now the important thing about aggregation is called pipeline, right? So pipeline is nothing but it has multiple stages that it can take. And what are the different operations it can help us with? like min, max, sum, limit, sort, etc. right? So we can have multiple stages. A stage is nothing but an operation, right? Or a particular function uh, operation that we do. Now the command is db.leads.aggregate. That's the um, command. And pipeline is nothing but an array, right? How it takes. So what's a pipeline? It's nothing but sequence of operations or stages. Now, what are options? It's a documents like there are settings that we can do. I'll cover that later. Let's first see what are the different stages, right? So we can pass any of these stages like count, group, limit, match, merge, sort, project, unwind, unset, etc. Right? I'll show you with some examples, right? So let's go ahead and put some um, logical things. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a new screen and let's start writing it here, right? So first thing we'll say db dot collection, right? So db dot leads, that's what we'll we'll be using, and then db dot leads dot. Uh, so here I'll say aggregate, right? So this is nothing but now this will take a pipeline, right? So instead of declaring it here, I'll say just pipeline, right? And here I'll say pipeline is equal to it's an array, right? And it will take stages, right? Now, what is the minimum stage? I'll say, let's say, start with the basic one, right? So you don't have to be too fancy. Let's start with the basic one. So like we saw previously, how we can do, we can give lead name and we can say one, that means ascending order, right? Now pass this to, I'll copy this entire thing, put it here, right? Now let's run it. So if you see now, it is sorted B M R S by lead name, right? It is now sorted. Now I'm saying, no, I want to add one more stage to it. What is the stage? I'm going to add limit. So see each of this is a, uh, what you can call it as uh, up operation, right? And this multiple stages that this form is nothing but a pipeline. So aggregate will always take a pipeline, which is a combination of more than one or any operations that we do. Let's see this now. Right. So now you see it has returned me only three, right? Because I set limit three. So it, it is applying sort and then it is applying limit on it, right? So similarly, we can again um, say group, right? That's also yet another important one. Group by what? group by what so we can say underscore id column name right and then you will say what is the column i'll say city right so let's run this now right uh uncaught error okay yeah so it's closing here right and trust me these are the common things that you would see yourself doing if you are um, like kind of doing with API work or something, right? So now see, it says ID city because it's grouped by city, right? So let's remove this and put something else. So there are other things like limit, group, sort, search, whatever you can do with find method, you can do with aggregate, right? Now you'll ask me, what is the difference which is better? 
there is nothing no concept of being better or um, using it it's just that it depends upon optimizing your query if you're if you're working with a very large data set right uh, which is spread vastly it it helps the pipeline really helps because it will help you narrow down the documents right list of documents find will also do the same but again you'll have to your code your commands will increase whereas from pipeline it would be much easy okay that being said uh, that covers uh, this topic in the next episode i'll cover limit and skip don't forget to like share and do for subscribe to my channel thank you so much see you in the next episode limit and skip